Right, so this is Cappy Smack coming to you from Vega Conflict. And I'm here doing the Betrayal Axis event. Auto farming level 70s for fun and profit. I'm already at 2 million, so it means I have the final Axis ship, which is the Liberator Destroyer. It is mine at the end of the event. And I will have one day to collect it. The next thing I'm playing for is harmonic siege casing and I'm probably gonna get one of these small ones at first because I won't be able to fit anything else and then I'm gonna go for these eclipse drivers just because and that's really all I don't have that's about four million points I'm already at two million and I've been doing this for maybe 90 minutes Ready to go. Ready and that is lady. auto farming Level settings. Quiet. And that's obviously someone getting a little freaky with their flagship. But if that's what people want to do with their flagships, I'm certainly not going to tell them not to. Orders. They should do it in the comfort and safety of their own homes. So that's where I am. That's what I am doing. And that's my little betrayal axis event briefing. We can do this for a while and just kind of watch it every two kills. I go and defend my base for extra points, then you can see the points are now at 2.2 million. So I get roughly a quarter million every cycle, and it takes maybe, I don't know, five minutes per cycle. Maybe ten. Where to? Which means I get a couple million an hour, probably. And yes, I am spending coins. Just in case there was any doubts, I do spend coins in this game because if you don't, you will not achieve the goal of getting the Axis ships. Now, I'm not saying you can't be brave and not pay coins. You certainly can be brave. It's just faster to pay the coins. It's also faster to buy food rather than go out and hunt it myself. It does cost money. No getting around that. But I'm okay with spending money on some things. And in this game, you pretty much have to. But I've got all the other extra ships. And I've done all the events like this. This one's probably going to cost me 10% fewer coins. Just because I've got much better fleets now. I've got a full access fleet. And I've got 70-80% um, of another access fleet. And you can see how many points I have now. 2.3 million. Up a couple hundred thousand just during the time I've been making this video. Let's just watch one more because honestly, when you're paying a buck to do something, you might as well watch. I need level 70s, I could probably do 80s, but I need level 70s. That seems to be my sweet spot with what I wish to pay. There is a level 70. Sometimes they travel in packs, pairs. Oh, here's another one. Awesome. Let's try that. Heading for sector. You can see I have 38 strong boxes. Down here, 38 strong boxes. I've been doing this for a while. What have? Pip pip chidio. Two seventies, and then I defend my base. About three hundred thousand points. Well, let's just see. And in case you wanted to watch, let's watch. Yes, they use the deceivers. Use uh, void. The marauder in my fleet here, number one slot, is. Uh, 
a ship that should do rather well with Void. And the others are just Axis ships and... Uh, void damage is a little bit uh, costly. If you take a look at all the ships, so the Marauder has taken more damage than the, uh, than the uh, Guardian. In the number six slot. So the Marauder attack is not amazingly better, and frankly I'm not exactly sure what its purpose is. And you can see the enemies do have a uh, paladin, but of course it's about to be dead. This leaves, well, all enemy ships dead. Ten in. I have not been watching them for the last hour or so. Let's just see how many points I get. And you can see this bar down here is almost full. It will be full when this one finishes. And that's an extra 60,000 points, so why not? And as I'm spending coins, I've already spent 3,000 coins to get my first 2 million. I need another 1.7 million, so I would assume another 3,000 coins from now. By the time I've got the 3,000 left, out of the 9,500 or so I had started with, I should have my goal accomplished. And I can get on to doing other things. Like my schoolwork, because I'm, I'm in college, I'm taking college classes. We need orders. Driving a friend crazy because she has to spend every single waking moment doing her work, and I do not. I can do things like this, and I have an assignment due tonight. And I'm going to wait until I've got five hours left. How risky. And then I'll find something interesting to say in 200 words. Something more interesting than once upon a time there was a sheep in the middle of the field and went ba ba ba. And that's like 15 words, so. Waiting on you. I didn't say it was 15 words, I said it was like 15 words, because when you're in a country where the president is like a smart person, you can say stupid shit and it doesn't really matter, and yes, I said shit. Deal with it. Well, let's just watch this, see how many points I get, because what I'm doing is rather quick. But let's face it, I've spent a good deal of money in this game, and I should be able to do what I'm doing right now. Auto farming level 70s, You're getting yet another of the best ships this game has to offer. All at the cost of about $30 out of the 80 that I spent on top of the 17 I already have. Not the most expensive hobby I've ever had, but let's face it. It's not the most expensive hobby I've ever had. Sorry, there's never better thought than that. Again, my channel, go with it. And I'm going to spend coins to do this as well. Because when you're spending coins, you might as well spend coins. Don't hold back. Just go out and spend coins. Alright, so I'm at 2.5 million. You saw it right here. I could continue to do this, but I think I have made my point rather handily. Ready for order. I should be at 4 million shortly, and then I can get on to doing other things, and the entirety of what I'm going to do in this event will be done within probably 4 hours at most. There's another level 70, auto farm. And another level 70, auto farm. All right, that's it for me. Please be sure to subscribe and share and like and 
you know, do all the neat stuff because I'd like to make more videos and then I need to you know, increase the quality of my videos and someday I'd like to be able to do a little intro video and a little outro video and I'm also doing Elite Dangerous where in that game I am not elite but I am certainly dangerous if only to myself on one of my accounts I finally got an ASP Scout sold off my Cobra and Viper and I'm going to see if the Asp is a better ship than either the Cobra or Viper. And on my other account, I'm just getting started, and I'm on the PC where I'm just having fun of that game. I'm uh, trying out some different things, like the Steam controller, and I also have a Hotas that I'm trying out. And I also have a Hotas coming for the PS4. I'm also thinking about upgrading to the PS4 Pro and the Xbox One X, but we'll see. Okay, that's it for me. Fly safe.